So did you hear about what happened with Cameo? So here's a company, Cameo, goes from zero to a billion dollars from 2017 to 2021. Everybody's talking about it. Kleiner Perkins Invest, SoftBank Invest, big company, 400 employees, and a recent the article comes out this month talking about Cameo drops 90% in valuation from 400 employees to 33 employees from a billion to under $100 million. Everybody's wondering what the hell happened to this company. We're gonna talk about that today. So if you get value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. So great idea, Cameo. So this guy, Steven, and his friends, Martin and Devin, are sitting there at his grandmother's funeral. They're driving, apparently, and he shows how a football player sent a congratulation video to another one of their friends who just became a father for the first time. He was like, oh my God, what a great idea. Look at the guy's reaction. He's so emotional. Let's turn this into a business. And next thing you know, even a person like me, one of my friends one time, Mark Molina, sends me a happy birthday video from the great Jerry West. Here it is. Patrick, this is Jerry West. Mark asked me to help wish you a very happy 42nd birthday. These are crazy times for everyone, but I'm sure that one of your best birthday presents was the Lakers winning another NBA championship this year. Getting to know Kobe, Irvin, and James at your events must have been a thrill for you and your guests. Let's hope the coming year allows everyone to get back to some sort of normalcy and that we all enjoy good health and good fortune. Wishing you the very best in all of your endeavors. So obviously, if you watch this, you may be saying, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, birthday getting from somebody. Have you ever gotten a cameo? Who would you want to get a cameo from? I'm talking to the guys here. He's talking about Margot Robbie. He's talking about Angelina Jolie. She's talking about Brad Pitt. Whatever these names are, I'd love to get a cameo from this person. Wish him a happy birthday. Maybe you have one as well. But that's just one time, right? Because you wish a happy birthday one time. I'm not going to want it again from Jerry West again and again and again. So it's not a be back customer model. But it was so attractive to them that Magic Johnson ends up sitting on the board of Cameo that some pretty heavy duty people got involved that they had at one point certain experts and users making real legitimate money on Cameo. I'm talking like a million dollar a year income. We have Brian Baumgartner, character from The Office, was making over a million year in 2021 so was james buckley gilbert gottfried was making four hundred fifty thousand dollars on cameo as a comedian mike foley wrestler 445 kevin o'leary mr wonderful 350 as an entrepreneur mike rapaport three hundred thousand dollars carol baskin was making hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a year from tiger king in 2021 here's some of the names that were on cameo by the way caitlin jenner snoop dogg brett Favre, lance bass tony hawk ice t perez hilton now i can give you a lot of other names but here's the key during covid when everybody Everybody's locked down. They want to talk to other people. Cameo went up 400%. Their revenue went above $100 million. They got over 50,000 personalities under for you to choose from. In other words, good things are going on with this company, and their target became very clear. They focused on famous people who were making a lot of money. So you got a lot of big following, but you don't make a lot of money. You're a good person to be on Cameo. So that was kind of like the angle they were taking. It was working for these guys. Even at one point, they put a party together called Cameo Palooza, which was a lavish company party celebrating their success. They had Kenny G perform a saxophone serenade they had paula abdul as a judge as like this kind of an american idol style contest hamilton cast members perform even vanilla ice sang ice ice baby bringing mark mcgrath on stage cameo and app for personalized celebrity videos celebrated at a chicago restaurant in a hilton penthouse suite with 300 employees so imagine you're at this event 300 people they're like oh my god we're going to the moon this is going to be great and then all of a sudden they start kind of losing focus because you know when during covid all this free money was being given to people everybody was spending the money but was that really going to stay like that forever you have to figure out what to kind of get focused and grow your business, but things change. In 2022, all of a sudden, Stephen Galanis tweeted this on May 4th, 2022. Today has been a brutal day at the office. I made the painful decision to let go of 87 beloved members of Cameo Famio. If you're looking to hire hungry, humble, smart, kind, curious, learning machines who love to win and you see Cameo on their resume, look no further. Now you got to keep this in mind. 87 employees is 25% of the workforce, give or take. You have to also think about when this was. This was May of 2022. What's going on during May of 22. Interest rates skyrocket. Tech boom. Cool. Money got expensive. Everything is not working in their favor. So timing was very bad for them. They had a great idea what they're trying to do, but it was challenging season for them, right? And at the same time, when this happens, sometimes as an operator, we become desperate. Like, oh my God, we got a billion dollar company. We can't lose this. And you're reading written about all over the place. Celebrities, all the stuff that's going on to you. How are we going to maintain this? So they get involved with a couple different things. They start venturing into NFTs and other areas that did not generate expected results, adding to the challenges. They started this cameo crypto business. They made a few million 
dollars in revenue at one point but they had to shut down because the nft was originally sold for 630 dollars sank to seven dollars and 60 cents and again this time when he fires the 87 employees this is when the market crash wiped 300 billion dollars in one week all of this happens at the same time so imagine what the board is probably telling them from the Klein or perkins the soft bank hey we got to figure something out. This is not working out the way we're going right now. And that's exactly what a board would tell the operator. Then fast forward in July, Cameo slashed its internal valuation of its common shares by 55 percent and unfortunately because they handpick the people that go on cameo you will be judged on who you let in versus it's an open platform it's a social media company coming in and become an expert or an influencer people pay for it good for you they handpicked who would come in and a couple people they picked pissed a lot of people off with one of them being simon leviv which was the tindler swindler i don't know if you remember this guy the convicted fraudster they brought him in and he started doing cameo and they started promoting him and cameo policy allows felons including those incarcerated to use the app unless they are under u.s sanctions which by the way there's a lot of people on youtube that create content that are former criminals there's a lot of people on instagram twitter linkedin a lot of these places but they're not handpicked it's an open social media platform they can open up an account for them they were approving the people that would be those personalities and this continues they started doing something with billy mcfarland the fire festival guy and martin shkreli who was the pharma guy there was a documentary i think done on him the fact that he was overcharging people for some medicine that he could have sold for nothing he was also on cameo and then simultaneously they bring uh, trump jr on and when they do Alyssa milano's like i'm not gonna do this i'm leaving cameo and then later on when hollywood went on a strike she got back on cameo because she needed to make money anyways they even had some stuff that they did with tate and he's like listen i'm for freedom of speech why are you guys doing this to me right the market did not like some of the decisions these guys made and by the way even if you look at data right now this report came out the fact that in the month of november they had roughly 9 million people visiting their website then it drops to 4.52 then it drops to 5.15 i don't know what the numbers look like for february or even march but obviously it's declining compared to the kind of traffic they used to get before and in the first four years i think they did 2 million paid videos on cameo so it's not like it's not something that there was interest for there was interest for they lose focus kind of bad timing took a hit had to drop off but uh, i have certain thoughts here when it comes down to cameo so, so i think it's fair to say that cameo had a good idea i mean the people of softbank or Klein or perkins are not going to give 50 million or 100 million dollars if they didn't think this thing had legs right however there's a few things you got to look at with a business model like this we never ever know what company is going to be the friendster the myspace or the facebook what does that mean first somebody introduces something like why would i pay to get a happy birthday that's kind of dumb i'd never do that why would i post my pictures on a website called friendster i'm not going to post my pictures that's why i have an album myspace why would I post? Oh, I would, and I would play a song, but uh, it didn't work. And then boom, Justin Timberlake ends up buying it, I think for like 25 million bucks. Facebook, boom, trillion dollar. Oh, wow, I would do something like this, and it turns into all these other things. That's not their fault. All it means is somebody else gets to watch. So for example, Zuckerberg and Winklevoss brothers had the ability to watch mistakes made by MySpace, and Friendster said, let's do it this way, right? Unfortunate thing about being the first one that comes out many times in the market is the third that makes it happen. So the other part they have to look at with cameo is they had a niche which was the birthday happy birthday from xyz i got the birthday from jerry west but you know what i would have liked from jerry west how do you become a great executive give me five keys for being a great executive tell me one of the hardest recruits you ever made how did you do it what did you say who was a decision maker how do i become a good leader what is the key to winning you've gone to the final so many times or you won once what was the difference are you okay with that are you able to work with i want to know certain things and i want to go back and forth i don't want to just have it one time i'm willing to pay second third fourth fifth time so when it comes down to this technology, a happy birthday is a one-night stand. But people nowadays don't want just a one-night stand. They want a relationship and maybe even a marriage. What I mean by that is, is the fact that I want to ask you a question, then have a follow-up question, then a follow-up question, and a follow-up question. I'm willing to pay for it, but I don't want it to be something where it's a one-off. A business wins when customers keep coming back. It's called be back type of customers, and they don't have that with Cameo. And by the way, AI is like, well, you know, what if you can, you know, now do AI and Pat, they're making your voice and I can ask any questions and this AI has all your books. And what if I can ask, you know, any expert, any questions and it's the AI voice responding. It's not personalized, right? I want it to be personalized, not just something that's an AI responding. It's a machine. I don't have a relationship. There is no engagement. There is no, it's not authentic to me, right? I want to hear from 
you, whoever that person may be. And last but not least, they could have created an open platform instead of you have to prove everybody that they come in because when you do, then you have to explain yourself. Why did you let that person in? Why did you let this person in? Instead, no, this is a social media site. Everybody can come in and create an account. And if others want to pay for it, it is what it is. And this leads me to why we started the app Manek. Let me explain. Eight years ago, I'm talking to my lawyer. We have a seven minute call. He bills me for 30 minutes. I call him. I say, why do you bill me for 30 minutes? He says, that's how it works. I said, nope, you can roll up the minutes to 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. I'm not paying you for 30 minutes. He says, listen, that's how it works. I said, what do you charge by the minute? He says, no lawyer charges by the minute. So what do we do? I said, one day I'm going to start a company where I get to pay people by the minute. Hence, do you have a minute to connect? Let's connect. And we start the app Manek and we launch it. We've had a few hundred thousand downloads, but here's the key. The other part for me was when on Instagram or on LinkedIn, I would find myself going back and forth with somebody, 20, 30, 40 messages. I'm like, I've spent at least four hours for this guy here. Why am I doing all these messages? I'm consulting this guy. You ought to pay for this. And on Manect, we have an 85% to 90% ratio of people getting back to you. Why? Because you're paying for it. And it's an app where I get to ask experts. I want to know how to raise money. They're on there. I want to talk to a lawyer. They're on there. I want to talk to a doctor. They're on there. I want to talk to a psychologist. They're on there. I want to know somebody that built a business that exited for a billion dollars. They're on there. I want to know how money manager prospect clients. They're on there. I want to know how you raise your kids. They're on there. I'm about to make some bad decisions in my life. I want to talk to a man that's going to give me a little bit of advice, almost like a father figure or an uncle or an older brother, they're on Manect. And in many cases, when I'm getting messages, it'll follow up with a second message, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. We have a few people that are connected with 20 plus times because they're dealing with, I'm about to hire this guy. Should I do this or not? Boom. Here's what my concern is. My wife and I are talking about balance. What do you think? Here's what I'm going through now. The guy that I gave the offer left to another company. What did I do wrong? Boom. It is a constant relationship and engagement rather than being a one night stand. And by the way, if you're watching this, you're an influencer, any other place at Manek, we pay 80, 20. You get 80, Manek keeps 20. So having said that, if you haven't yet downloaded the app, if you got questions for me, my QR code is right here. Download the app, ask me any questions you want. We can go back and forth. But forget about just Manek them with me. Go find other people that's on Manek and Manek with them. See what the experience is like. And if you're an expert, all you have to do, we don't discriminate. If you feel you have enough of an audience and your expertise can change people's lives, Start a Manect account as an expert, share other people on what you're doing, let them start paying for your advice, and if the experience is great, they'll give you a five star. But you'll also be held accountable for giving the right kind of feedback to other people as well, because if they're gonna pay you, you may as well give your best. If you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet downloaded the app Manect, click on the QR code or the link, download the app, start Manecting today. Take care everybody, bye-bye, bye-bye.